In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for ICL4 minus. So the first thing we need to figure out the molecular geometry is the Lewis structure. So here's the Lewis structure for ICL4 minus. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure, there's a link in the description to help you do that. So you can imagine that we have these chlorine atoms. We have one, two, three, four chlorine atoms. They're all pushing away and spreading out. And we have these lone pairs, these two lone pairs. They're also pushing on the chlorines in each other, spreading out around the iodine atom. And that's what forms our molecular geometry. It's helpful to visualize that. So the purple, that's our central iodine. Let's add our four chlorine atoms. One, two. You see they're spreading out, be away from each other as much as they can. Three, four. So with just these here, we have this tetrahedral structure. But don't forget those two lone pair of electrons. We add one, and then we add the other, and now we have what's called a square planar molecular geometry. And you can see that plane with the square in it, the four chlorine atoms, the iodine in the middle, and then we have the lone pairs on either side. If we looked at the electron geometry, the structure that takes into account the atoms and electrons, that's octahedral. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So if we couldn't really visualize that square planar molecular geometry for ICL4, we could do it two other ways. One is we could look at the steric groups attached to the central iodine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six things attached. So the steric number is six, four things are the atoms, two lone pairs. Let's look that up on this table. So we said we had a steric number of six with two lone pairs. So we go down and over in the square planar. So that's the molecular geometry for ICL4 minus, just like we saw with the simulation. The bond angles should be right about 90 degrees here. And if you look at this angle straight down the middle, that would be 180. There is one more way we could do this. It's called the AXE notation. So A, that's the central atom. That is the iodine. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the central atom. We have one, two, three, four. And E, that's the lone pairs. We had the two lone pairs. So AX4E2, you either memorize that it's square planar, or if you're allowed, you just look it up on a table. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, bond angles, and electron geometry for ICL4 minus. Thanks for watching.